Hi there, welcome. This is Patty Bennett. I am so excited that you are here with me today. I am going to be showing you lots of projects that I have been making with the Stampin' Up! Celebration products. So I hope you're excited because I am super excited to share them with you. I know I'm on just a few minutes early before I said I would be live. So I just wanted to say welcome and I hope that you are having a great day. I hope that you will enjoy all of the fun ideas. So we will be talking today about Celebration. It is the new catalog from Stampin' Up! that has free products. So you can't buy these products. These are going to be free. So I have lots of samples. We're going to go over lots of tips. And I'm excited to say that I can now see the comments over here on during the live video. And I don't remember who told me to turn my iPad vertical, but that worked. So whoever that was, thank you so much for telling me to do that because now I can see my comments over here on the side. So welcome everybody. I see that I have people all the way from California to North Carolina joining me today and I am very excited that you're here. You can see some of the samples already out here that we're going to talk about today. But for those of you who may not know what Celebration is, I just thought I would go over very quickly that inside the catalog you will see that some of the items like this are free with a $50 purchase. And then when you come across one like this, some of them are available free with a $100 purchase. So I believe there are 12 different items in here. I think three of them are for the $100 level, the rest are for the $50 level. So every time you see one of these little symbols, it means that that stamp set, punch, die, paper, whatever it is, is the gift that you can receive free. So we're going to go through page by page. I'm going to show you samples, give you tips, and if you want to follow along, if you already have a catalog, go ahead and follow along. We'll just start right here on page three with the Meerkat set. And then I will just flip through the pages and we will talk about the products and the samples that I have made. So by the way, if you should happen to need a catalog, please let me know. You can tag me or message me or on my blog at pattystamps.com, you will see a link up at the top that says catalogs and you can request a catalog there. So I hope that you will visit me at pattystamps.com. I have lots of great samples to share with you every day, every week, all the time. So we are going to talk about this cute set. This is definitely, um, I think this is the most popular as far as any comments that I have seen. It is a cute set of meerkats. They're adorably drawn. Whoever did the artwork is just spot on. So cute. And then other little pieces that you can see here. So I made one card here and it's a birthday card. Since it's a whole group of them, I decided that it would say happy birthday from all of us. And I did stamp on a die cut label. This is from the Wild Rose um, set of dies in the annual catalog. And I thought it was kind of cute because the way that it went up in the center and then that tall meerkat was in the center, like it fit perfect, right? So fun. It's just one of the small Whisper White note cards with one inch cut off. And then the label kind of overhangs. And then I stamped this little guy separately and colored him and cut him out so that he could just be sort of hanging over the edge. And I thought that was kind of fun. Just something a little different. I also decided to incorporate one of the other celebration gifts. So we will get to that in a few more pages. But it is a set of Baker's Twine that has this really pretty um, metallic-y shimmer in it, as well as a whole package of sequins. You get both of these as one gift. So I incorporated that cute twine and some of the sequins on there. And then one thing you might notice, you might be thinking, well, I don't really see that stamp. So what I did was I masked and I stamped happy birthday and then the from all of us. So that is how I got that greeting on there. And this one is from, I think it's the stitched label dies. 
that's where this little die comes from. And I thought it fit just perfectly, kind of tucked under there. And yes, I did stamp and fussy cut those little hats. There is not a set of dies or punches or anything to go with this, but it didn't take that long, you know, just cutting the triangle and the little poof ball wasn't too bad. And when I just said that, it reminded me that in the mini catalog, it, we have those cute little puff balls. Those would have been cute on here. I didn't even think of it till I just said that. But anyway, that is the meerkat sample that I came up with. Oh, I just, I saw a thumbs up. So that's good. I guess somebody liked it. Thank you so much. That is awesome. So then we're just going to flip here onto page four and five in the mini excuse me, the celebration catalog. And that brings us to this whole suite of lily pad. So this one, there's actually three pieces. We're going to get to the, dem the DSP on the next page. But this is the stamp set. And then this is the set of dies. Oops, I think I'm off camera a little bit. Sorry about that. Let me pull that back on here. So the dies are a gift with a $100 order. And you know, that's because this is a lot of dies. And so if you were purchasing this, this would definitely cost more than a stamp set or a pack of designer paper. So that's why it is a $100 order. And that would be your free gift. So I made a couple of samples using the dies and the stamp set. And then I also incorporated this designer paper that's right here. So this is the Lily Impressions paper. And if you combine all three of those, you can make some really pretty projects. So I just did two separate projects. This one I believe was on my blog yesterday, I think, at pattystamps.com. I also in included some of the little um, mint macaron, I think, I think that's what that is, the skinny ribbon from the um, 2020 mini catalog. And what I wanted to show you, I did point it out in my blog post, but I actually stamped this and this right on the designer paper. Let's see if I can just quickly find the two pieces. Yep, on the other side, because there you go. <laughs> These two. So this the two flowers there's actually two different flowers these two are actually stamped onto this piece of designer paper and then i just used the dies to cut them out so they go pretty quickly so there's two dies that just match perfectly with that and then what looks like kind of the lily pad leaf under there is actually this image again stamped on this piece and die cut i actually i don't know if you saw have a few of those left over. I die cut extras for my next project. So that is just something kind of different and fun that you can do to utilize the designer paper. And I cut a frame using two of the um, stitched rectangle dies so that they layer and that gives you a nice frame. So that was that card. And then this one will be coming up on my blog soon. And it was stamped on this paper for the flowers and the same with the leaves on the green. And then I layered a couple of diff, actually three of the patterns from this designer paper on that card. The paper is a little busy. You just kind of have to accept that, that it's a little bit busier of, um, you know, of a project. It's not real subdued. You could make it simpler and more subdued, but I just wanted to try to use that paper and try to come up with some different cards and ideas using the paper. So let's just look real quickly at the patterns. So you can see that you have some that are a little more plain and then some that are all the way up to pretty busy. They're beautiful patterns. They were originally paintings, Stampin' Up! Um, one of the artists painted them and then they recreated them into designer paper. So that is the Lily Impressions designer paper combined with the stamp set and the dies. So like I said, there's, that would incorporate these three gifts there if you wanted to recreate those. And then we've come to this twine and sequins that I just showed you a few minutes ago on the meerkat sample. So that's where that is. That's on page seven. 
All right, so let's go on to, I think the birthday cake is next. And I'll just tell you the reason why I decided to do this video and these projects was because if I had my way, I would stamp with this and nothing else for like the next month because I love this and I love to color. So I thought, that's not good. I need to like get out of the box here and I need to use the other products in the celebration catalog <laughs> i don't know do any of you get like that where you're just like oh my gosh i just want to use that over and over and over i know i do all the time so let's look at this one first no it's not attached i just wanted to show you that i used the cake stamp on a stitched scalloped um, die cut and i'm going to show you those at the end because i was using these on several projects I think it's the stitched so sweetly. I colored them with Stampin' Blends and I was just about to put this onto a different card and one of the gals in my group, and now I can't remember who said it, I was trying so hard to remember, she showed, was it Christy? I think it was Christy. She showed how pretty this goes together on the kerchief, it's actually right here, card kit card base. And so I thought, oh, I love that idea. So I'm going to have to create another one of these to put on here because I love that. I think that's a really pretty combination, the, the blues and the purples. So that's just an idea for that. I just wanted to show you that. So I didn't want to stick it on yet. So then my idea was that I was going to just make a very, very, very simple, simple card like this. And I thought I just wanted it to be just the white on the white. And then the, um, let's see, uh, oh shoot, why did my brain just stop working? It's not Gorgeous Grape, what's the other one? Somebody tell me real quick. Why can't I remember that? Okay, well somebody will tell me what it is. I don't know. Sometimes my brain just gets so busy with all these projects. <laughs> so that was my idea for that. But then today this came because I overnighted my order. This is a special thing that demonstrators could order. And this is a die that cuts out the cake. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. So I'll talk about this whole thing in just a second, but I just wanted to show you my thought process as I was walking through this. So I thought, oh, should I die cut that cake? And then I thought, no, I know what I'm going to do. I am going to, Highland Heather, thank you so much. I don't know why my poor brain couldn't remember that. So then I thought, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to stamp extra flowers and I'm going to use this die that also comes in the set. So let me show you. You can either cut out just the cake, well, the cake and the flowers, or you can use this die and it cuts out the flowers. So I thought, okay, now I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to stamp extra and I am going to layer that and I am going to make this just sort of, instead of a super simple card, I'm going to do like an over-the-top really gorgeous card like this. And then... I saw in the dies that it comes with a cake stand. And I thought, this is great. This is amazing. So I decided to die cut the cake stand out of some silver foil paper. And I, because, you know, I want to make this like really pretty, almost over the top, and put it on there. And then I went, uh, darn it. Because <laughs> look, then that part shows. I didn't even realize that would happen. So then I went to like plan, I don't know if we're on D or E or F or what plan we're on by now because <laughs> I, I just keep modifying this card. So then I stamped that and I think that if I just pull this, hang on, can't do it up in the air. I put adhesive on here so that I could stick this on really lightly. So I think if I pull that down like that, then... I am going to be able to stick this right across that. And I don't know yet if I'm going to center it or if I'm going to leave it kind of off-centered like that. I think probably off-center. And I'm going to layer those on. And amazing, then we have 
we've gone from super simple two layers all the way up to three and four layers with the, the pretty base. So I don't know, what do you think? Oh, good, I've got some thumbs up. So, oh, and a heart, thank you, whoever was liking that. So that was kind of my thought process with that. And I really loved how this turned out. I thought it was just really elegant. It, purple's not my color, as you probably know. I'm like the orange, red, poppy parade, bright green kind of girl, but I really like this. I was really pleased with it. So don't throw away your scraps because look, I even got two of those extra um, flower dies right out of that one extra little scrap. So that was that card morphing from, from this one to this one to all the way to that. And then I also decided to do uh, the same cake, but in the blues. And I did the Seaside Spray. And I like to combine a darker color in the Stampin' Blends. So I added some Night of Navy with the Seaside Spray. And I love how that goes together. I think that's just really beautiful. So I did that on the tin, the copper tin, so that this pinkish tone would go with the copper and then the seaside spray and celebrate. So this could be wedding, it could be birthday. I will probably, now that I have these great dyes, I will probably stamp more flowers and layer onto that and then maybe tuck a couple around. But that was just my idea with that. So those were the two projects, kind of two and a half, because we had that extra idea <laughs> to do with the... Um, the dies and the happy birthday to you set. So now, I, like I said, I told you I would go back and explain this. This is something that Stampin' Up! released for demonstrators in January. And for customers, it will start February 4th. But it includes, you can see right here, that set of birthday dies that I was just showing you. So that is something that we as demonstrators were able to order. I placed my order Friday and overnighted it so it would come this morning so I could get these done so I could show you. I also got this paper, which I can show you that at the end. And then there are also four other sets of dies and we will be talking about the a ladybug one at the end because I made some samples with that. And then these I'll probably save for another video because I haven't had time to make projects with those since they arrived at 1030 this morning. But that is the coordination product release information. So if you were wondering if you hadn't heard about that, that's what this is about. And one thing I wanted to show you on here that I was really happy about is on these two the little leaf and sprig. They're actually, the dies are connected, but they cut out separately. I like that so that I don't have to handle four separate dies. I think that was super smart. So thank you, Stampin' Up! for that. So what do you think? Do you like that? Do you, oh, somebody said stunning. Thank you. I'm watching the comments on the live video over here. Thank you, thank you. I'm glad you like it. So glad you like it. Thank you. Okay, so now we can talk about the Kerchief Card Kit, which is another one of the free gifts. And I had shared these previously on my blog. So if you're thinking, oh, I think I might have seen that, you're probably right. I already had these a week or two or so ago. And this kit is really amazing. It comes with eight card bases, eight envelopes, a whole bunch of die cuts that are pre-printed, it comes with your glue dots, your dimensionals, twine, and I think, oh yeah, some gold, several sheets of the gold foil embellishments plus the greetings in all the different languages. So it's a really nice kit. And I made this one just per the instructions. I didn't change anything about it. And that's how the blue one would turn out. It has a nice layer. Oh, that's in the um, in the kit too, this vellum with polka dots. So that's in the kit as well. And then this one, I decided to change it up just a little bit. So this layer right here is die cut from the Stitched So Sweetly dies and paper from the Best Dressed package that is in the mini catalog. And this 
flower, these flowers, I also fussy cut with my paper snips right out of the same paper. So that is kind of a combination. I morphed some of the kit pieces with my extra pieces and I decided to make it a little bit different. So that is an idea for that one. Love this kit. I think this is really fabulous. So happy that we have a kit that we can use as is. We can go real quickly with it or you can do something um, different with it. You know, you can add to it. Okay, so the Golden Honey Specialty Paper. This is pretty amazing paper. It is black, white, and gold. There are some bee elements, bee designs, beehive, whatnot, plus flowers. And these you can color in. I was doing that on something else that I didn't finish yet. And there are also some basic patterns in there as well. So this is very versatile that you can use on projects that have nothing to do with bees. Or, of course, you could use it on something with the bees. And this is a card that I made. Has nothing to do with bees, as you can see. Because <laughs> I kind of have this thing about bees. I don't know if you remember years ago. I'm going to have to find this blog post. I looked up out the back window here. My um, office is here at the back of the house, looks out over my garden. And I heard this noise and I was like, what is that? And I looked up and there was this huge swarm of bees. I mean, it was huge. And I was like, oh my gosh. And they settled on a plant, a bush, just on the other side of my back fence. So I walked around, there's a street behind our house, and I walked around and I could see this enormous, uh, I guess you call it a hive, of bees. And so I called around and I found a beekeeper to come and take them. But it was, it was an experience, let's just say that. So the bees remind me of that experience and I guess they're just maybe not my exact favorite thing right now excuse me I had to grab a drink um <laughs> so I decided I'm not going to make something with bees I'm going to just do black and white <laughs> so that's the long story of why this doesn't have bees on it I actually just put a little poppy here from the poppy elements kit I've layered some of those um stitched so sweetly dies that I've been talking about that I've been using over and over and over on almost every project and just some yellow ribbon just simple red yellow black and white so anyway there's the long story about that um I was just seeing if there was any comments about the oh yes Marlene said she had a swarm as well yeah it it's quite the experience when you when that happens to you right like literally 10 feet away from you <laughs> I did want to point out the coordination with the honeybee set and the detailed bee dies. You'll find these in the mini catalog January to June. So if you wanted to use the bees, the beehive, the flowers, these dies actually do cut out some of these flowers. I found that out. And I believe this bee cuts out some of the bees on this paper. I know it cuts out the bee on the stamp set as well as that be anyway so that all coordinates and there's the really long story of why I didn't make a project with bees but instead I made a project with black and white flowers I don't know how do you like that <laughs> okay so this is the next set and I realized when I was setting everything up I forgot to use that set so that'll come for another time, but it's just a great set of greetings, just sort of all around useful greetings that you might use on any project. Okay, so now we come to the Thoughtful Bloom stamp set, which is free with a $50 purchase, and the Small Blooms Punch, which would could be your selection with a $100 purchase. So I have some tips for you as well as a card that I made.
If you're looking for these samples in more details, I will be blogging all of these samples oh, within the next week to 10 days. So just watch on pattystamps.com if you want to see close-ups and you want all the details and the shopping information for all the products that I used. So here is the Thoughtful Blooms set. And I decided to make, well, I tried to make a super simple card. I am not that great at simple stamping. This is about as simple as I can go. I like layers, I like bling, I, I, yeah. So you could make this simpler. This could have been simpler, but this is my version of simple. So, you know, there we go. <laughs> I used the punch, as you can see, and I used some of the stamps. So I used this across the back. That's the granny apple green that you see behind there is this stamped about four times over and over. And then on this scratch paper, as you can see, I stamped the flowers and that is gorgeous grape outline. And the inside of it is this in gorgeous grape, but I stamped it off so that it was a little bit lighter. And then this is seaside spray. Again, trying to stay away from the colors that I always, always, always use. I was trying to do something a little bit different. So hopefully I think I accomplished that. And oh, somebody just asked about the happy birthday on this. This is actually from a different set that's in the mini catalog. But yes, you could have used that, this happy birthday. Uh, you could have used that. It's very similar, but it's not the same one. So we'll pretend I did. There we go. We'll just pretend that I used it. <laughs> Maybe, right? <laughs> and then these little flowers, the little gorgeous grape ones are right here. And then this medium sized flower is this one in um, Seaside Spray. And this, I can't think of the name of the set, but it's the same set with this greeting. And it's in the mini catalog. If somebody wants to look that up and comment, that would be amazing. And then I used the glitter enamel shapes for the centers. And I just thought that turned out really nice. And this is Purple Posy which you know we can't get in ink, but we can still use the blends and the ribbon and the cardstock. So I think that that kind of highlighted that nicely. So I wanted to show you two tips about using this punch. First tip is when you stamp, be mindful of the direction you're stamping if you're going to use the punch because when you slip the punch in you can see that you want one of the petals to be facing up and two of the petals facing down so just make sure when you stamp that you're not like trying to twist it and turn it to get it lined up so that's the first tip and then when you have them punched out if you want them to have a little more 3d which i think these got smashed because i had stuff on top but these were We'll pretend that they are still the way that I had them. <laughs> if you want them to have a little more dimension, put them on your stamp and pierce mat and then leave the cap on on your take a pick tool and just push. All you have to do is push and you see how that, oh, I stuck it on there with a tiny bit of snail so that it wouldn't get lost. Do you see how that makes it kind of cupped? You can also do it in your hand but I found that it it really gives a nice, real even um, uh, three dimension. Let's call it that. So those are my tips for using the punch and for making your cute little flowers dimensional. And that again is the Thoughtful Bloom set and the Small Blooms punch. So they coordinate. Sorry, I'm just trying to put stuff everywhere so it's out of the way. Alrighty, so on the next two pages, 14 and 15, we have the Power of Hope bundle. And this might get a little bit lost on the page. It is this stamp set and then it's an embossing folder. So let's look at that and Look at the samples I made. I think these will be on my blog on Wednesday. So we're coming up to, uh, what day is that? That would be January 8th, I believe. I have this one, I think, is on there for January 8th. 
So I wanted to use the set and the geisha and um, have her be in red. I used Real Red Stampin' Blends. And I just wanted a kind of a scene where she's looking over at the pagoda and then this branch of cherry blossoms and the lanterns hanging down. And I'll tell you the reason that I made this is that I have lots of memories from my childhood of going with my parents to the Cherry Blossom Festival in, I think it was Altadena, I think next to Pasadena where I grew up. And the lanterns as they became lit at night or at dusk, and the drummers and the cherry blossoms. And of course, my favorite part was the um, delicious teriyaki kebabs. <laughs> You know, it was all about food, even when I was little. But this this really reminded me of that. And my parents lived in Japan for a few years before I was born. So we had a geisha doll in a beautiful curio cabinet and lots of Japanese pottery and, and teacups and teapots. And lots. anyway, it's just part of my childhood. So that's why I wanted to make this. Sorry, that was kind of another long story about why. But just so you know. And then here is the stone. I need like four hands to do this, don't I? Here's the stone embossing folder. And you can actually see it here in the background a bit. I sponged the bottom portion, but not on the top. I wanted to give it that little extra dimension there on the bottom, but I wanted it a little more plain under the branch. And the branch and the flowers are from the seasonal layers dyes in the annual catalog. That's been around a couple of years. But you can see here on the stamp set that I just fussy cut the lantern after stamping them. And then I added Wink of Stella. I don't know if you can see that to the lanterns, but they look real pretty in person. A little piece of gold. And then this is actually from a different set. Um, I think... I think I just showed you the set. Where is that from? That's in something. Um, now I can't remember. What is it in? Hang on, let me just, I'm peeking. Yep, it's in the B set, the Honey Bee set that I showed you. That's where that is because I needed something to fit that space. So that's the first card with that. And then here's my second card. Same idea where the geisha is gazing over at the pagoda and the cherry blossom tree, but I decided to incorporate the heirloom frames. And so I die cut and embossed, and this is actually the poppy element, no, poppy, peaceful poppies paper, but it's the other side, and it's the side that has this beautiful kind of variegated, like, water washed sort of a watercolor wash look to it so it variegates in color and I just I have a se separate video on tips for using this die cut first then use the embossing folder to emboss your oval and it comes out really pretty so I used that as just sort of this focal point and just added those pieces from the set so I hope you like that. Um, yeah, Kathy, I'm sorry you missed the beginning. You're welcome to watch the replay later. Okay, I'm sorry I did miss this question. Let me go back to this one. Uh, who was that? Oh, Cindy was asking the strip across here. This is actually from the Best Dressed Designer Paper. Can you see that it has the little flowers on it? So it's the purple, um, kind of the posy to grape variegated piece of paper back there. Sorry, I missed, I meant to say that and I totally forgot. Yeah, I just needed to give myself sort of an anchor for where to place those flowers. Thank you for asking about that. All right, yeah, thank you, Cindy. <laughs> oh, thank you, Debbie. She said she enjoys the stories of how I come up with designs. Yeah, so this was very much influenced by my childhood and remembering things that my parents had and did with us as far as the cherry blossom festival and whatnot. So that is just a couple of things that I made with this bundle. So again, that's a whole bundle. You get the stamp set and the stone embossing folder with your $100 order. Okay, let's move on. Oh, okay, so now we're on to the last one. This one is actually 
free with your workshop order of $300 or more, or if you have an order yourself for $300 or more. I know that's out of reach for some people, but I do have a lot of customers that will spend that much. So rather than spending a little bit here and there throughout celebration, they're putting in a $300 order all at once and getting this set for free. This is so cute, adorable, and I had fun stamping with it the set and what I really was excited about was the ladybug dies so this is part of that product release that I was just showing you this is something that demonstrators could order last week and then customers can order it in February so you can see we have the die that cuts out the flower these dies each cut out you have to Hang on, Whoa, it's like a puzzle. There we go, no? Ah, that one, okay. It, you get the idea. These all cut out the ladybugs. Each ladybug has one. All four ladybugs you can cut out. Cute, right? There we go. And then also, if you just want to cut out the flower without the stem, there's an additional die. Love that idea. There are also two flowers, two leaves, two little tufts of grass if you wanted them sitting in grass or maybe you'd want grass down at the bottom of the flower. That would be super cute. And then look at this. Oh my gosh. It's the little trail. So if you think of the bee, uh, the bee, the ladybug as flying, then it would have this dotted trail like flying. So cute. Stampin' Up! just really is amazing when they think of all these fun things for us so grateful for the artists and the the artwork that they work on okay so let's look at the samples so this one is one of the note cards just a regular um note card size three and a half by five the thick whisper white and i put a strip of the best dressed designer paper so it's kind of garden-ish with the flowers and i stamped a ladybug on a stitched circle colored it in with my blends and added a die cut flower these patterns are also in the best dressed paper so just very simple but fun and cute and whimsical and you know good for anybody i think anybody would enjoy that kind of a fun little card and then this one if you'll remember the kerchief card kit from celebration i decided to add again one of those stitched so sweetly dies which we're going to look at again in a moment as sort of the anchor and i thought it kind of looked like this ladybug was holding the stem of the flower and then this ladybug was landing on it i don't know i hope i achieved that i tried <laughs> they are all colored with the stampin blends and die cut with the dies. And then my last one, I did three different flowers. Now we have patty colors. <laughs> and I just love, I think they turned out so cute. Just used the Stampin' Blends, die cut, layered, put that cute little ladybug on there. And then the greeting is from here. It says, spread your wings and fly. I think it's really fun, really cute. So I don't know, do, does everybody love this? I think this set is just so cute. So cute. Oh, thank you. Leticia says she likes the one that's paired with the kerchief. I think these card, this card kit is amazing. I am stocking up on these to say the least. <laughs> so the stitched so sweetly dies. I did a previous video. I will link to that as well. So I don't want you to look at at that portion because this is what comes in the stitched so sweetly dies this is in the mini catalog for purchase this is not one of the free products but I've used it on so many of these that I just wanted to show you I absolutely love this love this so much that I bought two sets because I like to die cut lots at once but what is so phenomenal about this is that with all these different layers and pieces you can use them just on their own, like this white one back here is that piece, but they also layer. 
So you can take the different pieces from here and you can layer them. I think I have, oh my gosh, they're, they're, well, let me pull out the sample because I just, just had one right here where I layered two of those together. I love layering the scalloped piece. You can do that behind there. You can do it in front. Lots of things you can do. So I keep a set of these tucked in with my dies so that if I'm not sure what size I need, I can look and I can layer and then I can die cut the right thing. So I just wanted to show you that again as well because I think it's a very amazing product. Alrighty, so we did it. We went through all of the celebration projects that I had for you, all of the products. Does anybody have a favorite? Ah, this one, I'll have to stick this all together. I think I'm gonna like it like this with the silver base on there when I get that all layered together. Anybody have favorites? Let me know. I wanna hear what your favorites are. I want to know. Scoot these up a little bit so you can see them. Lots of lots of projects, huh? Lots of fun, lots of creativity. I think that was all of them. Did I get everything? Yep, I think I did. I am so glad you joined me. I'm glad we got through that. Oh, Cindy says the birthday set. Yep, totally agree. Birthday cake. Yep. Oh my goodness. Yes, Carol says love the ladybugs. Oh, well, thank you so much. I hope that you will visit me at pattystamps.com so that you can see details of all of these projects soon. Within the next week to two weeks, I'll have each of them on there. Um, oh, yes. Deb says the ladybug set. <laughs> Letitia says too many. Cheryl says all of them. Carrie Joy likes the ladybugs. Ladybugs, then the cake. Yep, ladybugs. See, I knew that would be so popular. I know my friend Tammy really loves the ladybugs. So does Kirsten. Diane likes the cake. Well, thank you so much again, and I hope that you will enjoy using your products. If you need catalogs or you would like to join my team and get the awesome deal that Stampin' Up! is offering, just let me know. Go to my blog at, at pattystamps.com and click on the Contact Me button, and then we can chat that way. All right. Thank you again so much. Great spending a little time with you today. Talk to you later. Bye.